alexwithwindowcleaner.com. I want to go over stack ladders, window cleaning ladders, the different types, the different sections, how to arrange them, and how you're going to set them up. When you're shopping for or when you get a set of window cleaning ladders, you'll notice there are three different types. There is a base section, which has little rubberized feet on the bottom, and it's open at the top. There is a top section, which is open at the bottom, and then tapered together at the very top. There is an option for a V-groove or an open top. The V-groove is far more popular, and I'll show you why. And lastly, there are center sections, which are open at the bottom and the top. Now, the center sections are going to taper just slightly toward the top, so the bottom is a little bit wider than the top. This is key when it comes to setting the ladders up. The max you should use together when it comes to sectional ladders is four pieces. That's a bottom, two centers, and one top. Adding a fifth is not recommended. It goes against all the manufacturer's suggestions, and it's just far too bendy once you start to ascend something like that. So keep it to four sections, bottom, two center, and one top. When staging your sectional ladder to set it up, you want to arrange it so it makes the most sense um, for stacking each of these sections on each other. So closest to your body, you're going to have the base, the very bottom of the ladder where you're going to start to climb. In the middle, your one or two center sections, and farthest away from you, you want to have the top section of the ladder. All right, on your brand new set of ladders, the bottom and the center sections have wrapped up on here um, ladder pins. The pins, once you're set up, simply go into the holes on the bottom section, and this is gonna prevent the ladder from ever disengaging from the bottom section while you're moving it from window to window, or if you're climbing. Wouldn't really happen if you're climbing, but just when you're moving the ladder around, make sure that you always do have the ladder pins in place as you're setting the ladder up. Uh, something really important to know about when it comes to sectional ladders is that there are accessories for it to make it easier and a lot safer. Uh, as you can see, we're kind of on uneven, rocky ground here. I'd highly recommend a set of levelers, simple bolt-on, two bolts through each side. They're made for ladders just like this. They're fairly lightweight. It's not going to add a ton of weight to this bottom section, but it is something that I would highly recommend. It's just safety. Being safe at the top of a ladder is extra important. Um, also, at the top of the ladder, there are stabilizers that come out. Very, very lightweight. They're made of nice, lightweight aluminum. They mold right into the top rungs of the ladder, and they're gonna stabilize the top and keep you off of the surface you're working on. When you bring a ladder like this inside, there's also a simple bonnet you can put over the top. That way, you're not gonna mar up any of the customer's walls that you're working on on the interior. If you have questions on stack ladders or you wanna pick up a set, head over to windowcleaner.com.